Good morning, family. Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Thank you for uh, joining in this morning. Thank you for being present. Blessing and healing to all the land. I thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you, Father, for the blessing of today. For the reading, Lord, a reflection of God's love. We just want to say thank you. Lord, as you look out today and this evening, depending on where we are in our day, please bless, Lord, the hearers and the readers, Lord, on my YouTube channel this morning. I pray for your love and your grace and mercy to be rained down upon each and every one of us, Lord, in whatever circumstances we find ourselves in this morning. Lord, and I ask that we all be given the blessings of joy, that joy on the inside that surpasses the understanding of our circumstances on the outside. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, March the 2nd, a reflection of God's love. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. 1 John 4, verse 11, the New King James Version. As I have said on a number of occasions, the biblical book of Ruth and the main characters in the story help us to understand that kind treatment, respect, and consideration are basic components for both personal and couples relationships. When we consider what and how Boaz, Naomi's distant wealthy relative, spoke to Ruth, Naomi's uh, widowed daughter-in-law, especially in an era when women often did not sorry, especially in an era when women <clears throat> often did not experience respectful treatment from men. We have a wonderful glimpse into this man's noble character through his exquisite words. I do not know in depth all the customs of that time in Bethlehem, especially the details regarding how one relative could redeem another. I only know that this Bible story implies that Boaz could have acted in many different ways. For example, he could have taken advantage of Ruth's impoverished situation and her ignorance of the local customs. He could have abused her, especially since she was a woman and a foreigner. He could have, um, he could have, a, I'm sorry. Instead, we see in the following verses that Boaz treated Ruth with respect and affection. And now, my daughter, don't be afraid. I will do for you all you ask. All of the people of my town know that you are a woman of noble character. Ruth, verse three, Ruth chapter three, verse 11. Speaking of a closer kinsman who could marry her, Boaz tells Ruth, if he wants to do his duty as your guardian redeemer, good, let him redeem you. But if he is not willing, as surely as the Lord lives, I will do it. This is Ruth 3, verse 13. The Bible tells us that Ruth lay at his feet until morning, but got up before anyone could be recognized. And he said, no one must know that a woman came to the threshing floor. Boaz even protected Ruth's reputation. Today, when we see how abuse and violence are increasing everywhere, reading the story of a man who treated Ruth with respect, value, and care for her person and her situation provides us with a magnificent example. It helps us to understand that we are daughters of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We all deserve to be treated with dignity and respect as persons of value, the same way Boaz treated Ruth. 
Always remember how Boaz treated Ruth, remembering that believing men and women should reflect in their relationships the love of God, the love God has for all his children. Amen. Our reading today was written by Maddie Lovato. Abba Father, thank you this morning, Lord, for this reading. Lord, for us to receive the entire story, we can go and read the book of Ruth and see how, Lord, you worked and you covered her, Lord, just as you covered us, Lord, and you continue to cover us. For you are our kinsman redeemer from the plight of this world, from the burdens of this world. Lord, whatever this world has to offer us, Father. Lord, some of us are so torn down. Some of us are so burdened, Lord. But we can trust, Lord, in your word that you are our kinsman redeemer. Thank you, Lord, this morning for being my kinsman redeemer. Thank you, Lord, this morning for being the kinsman redeemer for each and every person, Lord, that hears this reading, Lord. Show us your love, Lord. Show us yourself. Show us, Lord, how we can trust you, Father. As we cry out in our prayers and we talk to you, oh, Lord, show us that we can trust you with ourselves and our circumstances and our situations, our children's, our marriages, our relationships, Lord. Show us, Father, that we can trust you. And Lord, one of the ways that you show us is through the reading of your word. And Lord, sometimes through blessed, God-filled relationships, Lord, people who reach out and care and don't look at us, Lord, in disdain, but look and care and want to extend a helping hand. Show everyone, Lord, today their kinsman redeemer, kinsman redeemer. That is my prayer today, Father. May you always reign in our lives, Father. Father, may we have an open heart to receive and be blessed by you. Thank you, Lord, for this prayer. Thank you for this story of Ruth and Boaz, Lord, our kinsman, Redeemer. Amen. Blessed is the day, everyone. I just want to tell you, um, yesterday I got a message after the reading and someone shared their song. And their song was entitled, is entitled, Until Then. There's a song that says, Until Then My Heart Will Go On Singing. Until then, I'll carry on until the day that I see you. Until then, I'll carry on. Those are not the exact words, but um, until then, we can feast on it. So if you want to find it and look it up, look it up. But thank you, um, Elizabeth, for sharing your song with us on yesterday. And someone else, send a message. Share your song in Jesus' name. I thank you and I love you. Have a blessed day, everyone. This is Miss Norma. I'm getting ready to sign off out the door to go to work. Have a blessed day, everyone. Miss Norma, love you.